Happy Time Zone, sports fans. Welcome to 90 Infinity 5 The Sports Hub. I'm Joey T. Badger. And if you heard the news, Blaze Ball is over. They've finally said that they're moving on from the game and that Blaze Ball isn't sustainable to run anymore. And this is officially the end of our favorite sport. And it's sad. It's really sad. And that's okay that it's sad. I'm doing this just to talk about my feelings, unpack what Blaze Ball is meant to be, and ultimately to celebrate something beautiful. Blaseball came at a time I, for a lot of us during the pandemic when it was hard, illegal, and unsafe to gather and provided this catalyst for us to come together. And not only to come together, to really create. If you know me, I, for most identify as a, an improviser and my art form was impossible to do online didn't really make sense you lack the connection with each other with the audience and some of the principles of improv include i mean it's 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 all collaboration it's an art form that is built on collaboration and baseball, I saw in a random games Facebook group that people were talking about like the Baltimore Crabs and Hades Tigers and all these teams with weird names. People being excited about baseball, this baseball-like thing. And as an improviser, I'd be like, "Ooh, what's this? I want to have fun. And boy, did I. That was around season four when I popped into blazeball.com for the first time. It's very charming. A lot of fun things get to be for my home team, the Boston Flowers. See weird stuff happen. Bet on some stuff, not realize what's happening. Understand the game. Betting was fun, I guess. And then I went to the Discord and I joined the Boston Flowers channel, as you do. And that's when I saw the magic for the first time. Being able to cheer along was one of the coolest things. Chance of let's grow and when bad things happen, shouting weeds. Some of the Boston Flowers specific chants and cheers and jeers. And it felt like a sports thing. It felt like a real sports thing. I'm a sports fan in real life. Funny enough, not baseball. Couldn't stand baseball at all. But it felt like the togetherness of a, of a sport and the collaboration and everyone cheering along. And while a game was live, a player got incinerated. And I was like, whoa, this is wild. A little wild thing has never really happened before or this experience. And I miss a lot of the incinerations, but I get to see one happen live. I think it was, I forgot who got incinerated, but it was when Gloria Bug Snacks was created, rolled, or whatever terminology for baseball. This new character was there on the Boston Flowers. You know, other character, dead, Oof, fire, dead, hollow flame. That was a new character. And there was this wave of sadness and people supporting each other through that sadness. And then, like, a forest fire burning, pun not intended, people started creating. There was that growth. People started luring up this new character, Immediately sketches started pouring into the Discord about what this character would look like. Sketches of this person with Venus flytrap for a head and lore about this character were starting to be talked about and shared. And I remember this this argument too about, you know, you know, what the pronouns would be, some conflicting backstory stuff. And it was handled in such a kind and gentle way. And I think from that moment, I knew I was hooked. 
I knew something was special. I knew there was this thing that I'd never experienced before, but also felt familiar. And throughout its early incarnation and following, so much art was created. The literal bands making music for the games, tons of character art for just players with names on the screen and maybe some stats and maybe their favorite coffee and pregame ritual that people got so inspired by that and created so much from that role playing on Twitter as these characters. It was intoxicating. And I realized that was, it was improv. It was improv at large, at, at large scale. Congratulations, internet. You did improv. And it was magical. People yes, ending each other, listening, collaborating, inspiring one another. That's the best kind of art is art that creates more art. And where I kind of got inspired was, this is fun. I want to play too. And my dumb idea was, hmm, what if I was a fake sports broadcaster who treated this game as real? And that was just a, a fun, random thing and just took off and created some really amazing memories and... made my life better it helped me become a better speaker it made me create so many other projects i would not have created it baseball changed my life some people play by betting and role playing or casting votes reacting <laughs> the way i played was i role played as a broadcaster and i get to play with so many amazing people and connect with so many amazing people Obviously, I get to have so many people in the booth with me. John Serpico, Dan Hahn, Marissa Farmer, so many more folks joined me. I had a baseball talk show that I got to host with so many awesome guests and collaborate with so many amazing organizations from Blaseball News Network creating all these stories like like literal articles about this online fake baseball game and just the amazing way to celebrate this game not in a vacuum but together having the chat around also committing hard and as folks know again improvisers tend to commit to the bit and we all really committed to baseball so hard um just really proud of what we all collaboratively created. It was magical. It's sad that it's over and it's okay to grieve that because this is a grieving. It's not unexpected. I wasn't surprised to see it. Was I sad? Yeah, I was really sad. And that was that grief that this time's over. And those times were really fun and really entertaining. And really inspiring in a lot of ways. Quick run through all the stuff I did. You know, doing the streams, doing the baseball tier lists, doing the season recaps, doing the talk shows, talking about baseball. Even wrote a couple articles. I hate writing. And maybe like writing. It's crazy. My my favorite thing to come out of this, besides all of this, was the uh, tabletop RPG inspired by baseball Blitter League, which is still going strong. We're, we're on hiatus, but we'll be back. I promise. I promise we will end that. You know, after 96 episodes, 94 episodes, whatever, almost 100 episodes, that it's really fun, and I highly recommend watching it if you want more baseball like content. It's not you don't need to like baseball if you're just watching this video <laughs> randomly stumble upon it. BlitterLeague.com links below. We're entering our third season. Just so much fun, like capturing that horror, but also silliness, which I think was just a great combination. I remember, you know, being inspired by other ways. Like I, I, I hired a broadcast coach to help me become a better broadcaster. 
And something I've always struggled with was anxiety. As a kid, I had a really bad stutter, so I'm always fighting that. And this was a way to have me practice, gain confidence, get better at public speaking, streaming. Yeah, it made me become a streamer. <laughs> I didn't think I would become a streamer, but then Place Paul's like, here it is. There you go. And I, I will obviously continue to do that. So we would love to have you around here on this channel. Will we still be broadcasting? We do have a Discord, which is the coziest place on the internet, just full of really supportive, kind people who care about each other. And this is just my way to process the end of Laceball. I want to thank everyone at the Game Band to, who created such a, I would say, masterpiece of a game. Sad that it felt like there was more. I think it's easy to be angry. I don't blame you for that anger. It's a valid emotion figure out where it comes from, from inside. I think it comes place with sadness, that grief, that loss. So I encourage folks just to be kind to each other in the game band, as always. We're a kind community, so let's stay that way. I don't think we'll ever stop being a community. At least in our hearts, we've created so much. We're, we're tethered, we're tied. The past is already intertwined. You can't stop that. You can't untangle it. It's part of us, who we are now. Oops, oops, all baseball. <laughs> That's our lives now. Oops, all baseball. And uh, yeah, I even so I obviously love the Boston Flowers. I also love the Hellmouth Sunbeams and the team in our TTRPG is called the Sunflowers because of that, because of that combination. I was like, oh, sunflowers, you know, sunflowers it makes sense. Flowers, sunbeams, sunflowers. And uh, baseball taught me that I like baseball. So now I'm a baseball fan. Uh, go Red Sox, go Seattle Mariners. I'm not sure what the combination of that, Red Sox and Mariners. Merit Sox. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll work on it. And I started playing softball. I never played softball before or baseball or anything. And then about a year and a half ago, two years ago, we started playing. Now I play it every weekend with practices. And of course, we call our teams, team the... The sunflowers, based on that. So there's still a legacy that lives on. And I mean, an amazing thing that you know, absolutely warms my heart is that at the end of games, we'll put our hands in after a win or a loss, doesn't matter. And we'll say, let's grow. Or we'll chant, yell, let's grow to each other when we're on the field. So that's one way that Blaze Ball will continue to be in my life and inspire it. And create more art. And I encourage you all to create and collaborate more. It was an amazing ride. <sighs> so one of my favorite bits that I ever did was when a player got incinerated. I would play Amazing Grace and we would salute that player and then carry on. Now I couldn't think of a better way to end these rambling thoughts with just that bit. Because if anything, we are here to commit to the bit. Blaseball has been so important in our lives, changed us, inspired us, brought us together and done so many things. Like most taken far too soon with more that it felt like it had to give and more that we wanted to give to it in the community we'll let it rest we'll let it take the break that it deserves the siesta that it earned where we'll carry on its legacy and be there for its honor and for each other Baseball, the game band, the community, I thank you. Rest in peace, not in violence.